everything that's happening now. Stop talking because they're talking about it. We're going to come inside. Just let you know that. You're going to come inside? Without a warrant, sir. You're going to come inside without a warrant? Probable cause, you're going to kick my door down. There is no domestic violence. There is no domestic violence. Between two people, I'm right here. They're going to arrest you, dude. They're going to fucking shoot us. How many children are in the house? There is one child in the house and one is playing outside. Officer, there is one child. Why are you guys not coming out? Why are you not coming out? Because we don't live in a police state, sir. Martial law has not been established in this country. Okay, okay, can you do us a favor? All get down on your ground, get down on the ground and put your hands behind your back because we're going to kick the door. He can't you record if his hands are behind his back. We need documentation of this violation of their civil rights. Stay from the door, sir. He's got his hand up. You're gonna kick my door. You kick my door down. You kick my door down. Get on the ground. You kick my door down. Yes, we did. Get on the ground. No, you have no right to be in here. You have no right to be in here. You have no right to be here. You don't. You have no right to be in here. Do not touch her. You are assaulting her. I uh, just saw a video and I was hoping to learn the identities of some individuals that broke into a man's house who lived in, uh, I don't even know how to say the name of y'all's town, Cotida? Okay, it's Katati. And we are aware of the video, but we have no comment regarding that incident. Right, and well, I, I'm just, I'm not asking for a comment, I'm asking for the names of the individuals who were involved in breaking in and tasing and assaulting a man and his wife. Because they're. Okay, well, let me forward you to the voicemail for the person who's in charge of that. You want to hold on? Well, I would hope that you could just share with me that information, being that you yeah, take. Yeah, as I stated, I can't, but uh, if you want to leave your name and number, I can forward you to someone who can get back to you. Well, could I have your name and so I know who I'm talking with, please? Yeah, my name's Christina. And what's your last name, Christina? I'm not going to give that out. Do you, are you a public employee? Do you take money from people who live there? I, I think. I can forward you to the voicemail. Well, I mean, if this is the kind of accountability we're going to get... Can I have your name and number so I can get back to you? Ma'am, you work for people that live in that town, as do the, your colleagues who you're currently protecting their identity, and they're responsible for All their right, actions. Well, if you're not willing to give your name and number so that we can get back to you, I cannot help you. You know who you was... You want to leave a message? Ma'am, I'm sorry for raising my voice, but you know who was involved in that incident, and right now, thus far... And you. as I stated, I cannot give you anything that we have no comment. Do you want to leave a message? I'm not asking for a comment, ma'am. I'm asking for the okay, names well, of the thank people. Thank you. I cannot help you. What? Hmm. Hello. Hello. Good morning, Kentucky Police. Yeah, I just called and spoke with uh, Christina. I was hoping she's available, please. What? Uh, she has no comment to make regarding that video. Right. I'm not asking for a comment. I'm asking for the names of the people involved in that incident. Okay. She was going to transfer you to the lieutenant voicemail who was handling that. Would you like me to transfer you? No, I don't want to be transferred to somebody who's acting as damage control agent for an incident that he may not have even been at. I would like to learn from people that were... We've been instructed to transfer these calls to Lieutenant Bill French. If you would like, I can do that for you. Otherwise, I cannot help you any further. So, right now what you're telling me is you and your colleague Christina are willing to abide by orders... To not I'm giving disclose. you two choices. I can either transfer you to voicemail or we can end this call. Which do you want to do? Right, and I'm trying to point out to you that you have a choice to act on your conscience and share the identities of the people responsible okay, for so acting I'm in the wrong. I'm going to hang up the phone now because you're not giving me an answer. I'm trying to help you. Um, again, that's not an option. The option that you're giving me is not helping me. It's, it's, it's continued damage control. And if you really wanted to help me and people in the town there get accountability, you would oust the names of the people I involved. I would like to help you by transferring you to the person that can give you that information. Can I do that for you? Is, is there somebody that is in the building right now that I could talk to? No, there is not. Sorry. So you're telling me that though you know who's involved with that incident, you're going to refuse to share that information. Okay, I'm going to transfer you to Lieutenant Bill French's voicemail. Hold on, please. Can I have your name, please? Hello, this is Lieutenant Bill French. 
I'm currently out of the office. Right. Please leave your name and phone number, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you. Hey, Bill, I'm just one of the many... Um, probably tens or hundreds of thousands of people now that are concerned about the video that we saw um, that disclosed some actions from some of your colleagues. And I don't know, maybe you yourself were on the scene at the time, but I would hope that you guys would do what's right and share the names of the people involved in that incident. I know if myself and a crew of my friends went and broke into the house of one of your colleagues and took the same actions that were done to that man and his wife in the house against one of your colleagues in their own house, our names would be plastered all over the the media and we would be you know put in handcuffs and brought to a cage you guys don't have extra rights because you have a badge and the actions that were documented on that video and that are be seen, being seen by a lot of people are communicating and making clear that you guys don't have any extra rights because you have badges and people are going to stop granting you authority people are going to stop abiding by the deference that you claim and they're going to quit being satisfied by this damage control runaround where your colleagues who answer the phones refuse to be accountable and even share information and uh, the, the continued damage control of just being passed along to your voicemail, which is ridiculous. I mean, think about what you do, man. You probably live with people and have family members that look up to you and think you're an admirable person because you wear a badge. But if, if you're protecting thugs, then that doesn't make you a hero, at least to me. And I would hope that you think about the money that you're stealing from people in that town under the claim of protecting them when in fact your actions are showing that you're protecting some cowards that are aggressors. So you need to do what's right and, and share the names of those involved. They don't need to be working in that department that claims to protect people and they need to be held accountable as would anybody else.